Are you a small business owner or entrepreneur who is new into business and you want to be highly successful? Then I've got some strategies for you. If you want to be in the 4% of businesses that survive after five or 10 years, then this video is for you. Number one is that you got to understand some of the basic financial statements. Because from my survey, most don't even understand the difference between the P&L and the balance sheet. And I think that these are all things that leave to their accountant. Let me explain for you the P&L in probably just a minute or so. So the P&L has the top line and the bottom line. The top line is the revenue. And most I see people try to do is increase the top line. That's get more sales, put more marketing, do more stuff out there. But if you just increase the top line and you don't manage the middle section, which is the expenses, you end up with no bottom line. And the bottom line is effectively what can then give you some free cash flow if you turn that profit into cash to then grow the business. Most business owners don't know the difference between markup and margin. The thing that markup is better are you get the cost and you have a percentage onto your cost to get the price. But margin is actually better because margin is basically a percentage difference between your selling price and your profit. And you have to have a contribution to your bottom line. Now, some people don't even know the difference between OPEX and CAPEX and which ones actually impact the profit. OPEX is obviously operational expenditure and CAPEX is capital expenditure. When you spend money on CAPEX, it does not impact your profit. These are some very straightforward examples. So my big tip for you is to enhance your financial intelligence. And if that's something that you want to do, if you really want to be, be smarter in your business, you want to make better decisions, get in touch. I've got a lot of free resources I can share with you to help you to run highly successful and profitable business. If you're an investor and you invest in property real estate, you must know if the deal is tax. You have to work out the mortgage interest, you have to work out, you know, the agency fee, you have to work out some of the operation expenses, plus the, the money you're going to get in and then say, right, when I check it all, is this worth it? Because sometimes it's not even worth it. Even the taxes, taxes are high these days. So these are all some things to really consider, to really look at. Who am I? I'm Royson Cumberbatch. I'm a finance expert. I've been doing this for 30 years. I work for some of the biggest companies in the world and I, therefore I have the capability to help you to take your business from where it is today to where you want to be. So just get in touch and I will share with you some strategies. I will share with you some techniques that can really help you. Until, take care and I speak to you soon. Bye-bye.